गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी विल स्टडी एंड अनदर टॉपिक ऑफ इन्वायरमेंटल साइंस दैट इज इन्वायरमेंट एंड इट्स कंजर्वेशन व्हाट डू वी अंडरस्टैंड बाय द टर्म इन्वायरमेंट एज वी सी इन दिस स्लाइड द सम ऑफ ऑल सराउंडिंग्स ऑफ अ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म इज नोन एज इट्स इन्वायरमेंट इट मींस आर टोटल सराउंडिंग्स इज नोन एज आर इन्वायरमेंट if we are in a forest area then our surroundings will be considered as our environment or if we are in a cropland area then our surrounding will be considered as our environment next what are the components of environment basically there are two components of environment that is biotic component and abiotic components biotic components are those components which have life like plants animals bacteria fungus protists it means all living organisms are biotic components while water soil air minerals light ph relative humidity temperature all lifeless components are considered as abiotic components Uh, we can say that abiotic components are those components which do not have life but they sustain life so they are very essential these are three categories of biotic components that is producers consumers and decomposers producers are those one which can synthesize their own food with the help of photosynthesis while consumers are dependent on producers directly or indirectly for their food while decomposers depend on producers and consumers for their energy next if we want to study more about the functioning of human body and structure of human body then it is essential to study more about the human cells similarly if we want to study about the environment then it is essential and important to study more about the ecosystems because ecosystems are basic structural and functional unit of environment every ecosystem is self sufficient system in nature it means it is self regulating it doesn't need any type of external input we can also classify the ecosystem into two types like natural ecosystem and artificial ecosystem natural ecosystem are those ecosystems which are controlled by nature itself like aquatic ecosystem and terrestrial ecosystem in aquatic ecosystem we can also classify them into two types like freshwater ecosystem and marine ecosystem freshwater ecosystem uh, we can also categorize it into two forms like lotic and lentic lotic ecosystem यानी कि ऐसा इकोसिस्टम जिसमें जो पानी हो वो बहता रहे इट मीन्स रनिंग वाटर इकोसिस्टम दैट इज रिवर स्ट्रीम एटसेट्रा वाइल लेंटिक इकोसिस्टम इज स्टैंडिंग वाटर इकोसिस्टम लाइक पोंड लेक एटसेट्रा मैरिन वाटर इकोसिस्टम वो जलतंत्र है जिसमें समुद्री जल होगा लाइक ओशियन सी एशरी एटसेट्रा एंड इन द टेरेस्ट्रियल इकोसिस्टम टेरेस्ट्रियल इकोसिस्टम मतलब स्थलीय पारितंत्र स्थलीय जहां पर भूमि हो जमीन हो उसे हम टेरेस्ट्रियल इकोसिस्टम कहते हैं लाइक फॉरेस्ट ग्रासलैंड डेजर्ट एटसेट्रा एंड आर्टिफिशियल इकोसिस्टम आर दो इकोसिस्टम विच आर कंट्रोल्ड बाय ह्यूमन बींग लाइक क्रोप लैंड इकोसिस्टम जितने भी हमारे फसल तंत्र हैं वो सभी के सभी आर्टिफिशियल इकोसिस्टम है एक्वेरियम लेबोरेटरीज आर आल्सो द एग्जांपल ऑफ 
artificial ecosystem next what are the basic structural component of any ecosystem similarly uh, to the environment the ecosystems uh, also uh, comprises into uh, two forms uh, two com by the two components like uh, biotic components and abiotic components this is the picture of pond ecosystem this is a type of uh, aquatic ecosystem producers consumers and decomposers are three biotic components in this ecosystem producers are of two types in this ecosystem the rooted plants and phytoplankton both are the example of producers in pond ecosystem while zooplankton small fishes or turtle are the example of consumers in the pond ecosystem and bacteria and fungi are the decomposers in this pond ecosystem while in uh, the abiotic components there are sunlight air water soil soil ph water ph water temperature all these lifeless components are abiotic components in this pond ecosystem but these components are very essential because these components sustain life next food chain the transfer of energy that is food from one trophic level to another trophic level is in the form of a chain that is considered as food chain so a food chain describe a single pathway that energy and nutrients may follow in a in an ecosystem it means the flow of energy or minerals from one trophic level to another trophic level is in the form of a chain that is food chain here are some examples of food chain grass and the food from the grass and the energy from the grass is transferred to the grasshopper then to the lizard then to the snake and then finally to the eagle similarly the food and energy from the crop plant is transferred to the bird to the snake then finally to the eagle it means all in all these examples food is transferring from one trophic level to another next in this picture we can also see a food chain the food is transferring from producer that is grass to the primary consumer to the secondary consumer to the tertiary consumer to the top consumer and fi finally decomposers can also take uh, the energy uh, from the all these factors when they are they will be in the condition of dead and decaying organic matter so this is the flow of energy from one trophic level to another trophic level so this is an example of food chain next food web there are so many food chains in an ecosystem and all these food chain are intermixed intermixing condition so the intermixing of various food chains can uh, create a web or network that is known as the food web in this picture we can see various food chains the the food or energy is transferring from plant or trees to the goat to the jackal or to the lion while the food and energy is transferring to the plant to the rabbit to the uh, wild cat to the lion and the food and energy is also transferring to from uh, plants to the mouse to the snake and to the kite but these food chains are inter are in intermixing condition so they are uh, creating a web this is known as the food web next these are few examples of different ecosystems but all ecosystems are similar or we can say that 
same in structural and functional components. What is degradation of environment? As we know that the environment is an important concept, important, important component for us and it should be protected. But uh, in, in, in present condition, we can easily see uh, there are few degradation or depleting conditions of environment is there. We can uh, categorize the degradation of environment into two types like uh, uh, depletion of biological diversity or environmental pollution. As we know that the biodiversity is very important concept in the field of environment. Uh, the variation and variabilities among living beings is known as the biological diversity. It means we can say that there are so many types of plants and animals are on this earth. So all these types of living beings is a type of biological diversity. It means variation and variabilities among living beings are there in the form of different animals or plants. But nowadays we can see or we can observe uh, the depletion in the case of biological diversity. So it is a burning issue. And second one is environmental pollution. The undesirable changes in physical, chemical and biological properties of environmental components is known as environmental pollution. So it is also a burning topic in the field of environment. Next, reason reason for the depletion of biological di biological diversity we can see these uh, topics which are the reasons behind the depletion of biological diversity and these are habitat destruction deforestation overpopulation hunting of animals climate change pollution and anthropogenic activities all these factors are posing a threat to the biological diversity so it is the need to understand the system of environment and to take some uh, steps to conserve or protect our environment Environmental conservation is the protection, preservation or restoration of natural conditions of environment. It means it is very necessary to maintain the natural condition of environment. It is known as the environmental conservation. And environmental protection is the practice of protecting natural environment. Both for both environmental conservation and environmental protection. We need a collective efforts from individuals, NGOs and government. Next, earth, environment, ecology, ecosystems, energy, employment and economy. Because all these are interrelated with each other and all these are the part of a ecosystem or environment. So, it should be compulsory for us to control all these factors in a sustainable way. And education is the factor which can control all these components. So, there is a need of environmental education. All the major natural resources in our country are depleting at an alarming rate. So, it is a time. It is a time to protect them or to conserve them and uh, do sustainable development so that all these resources will be available for the future generations. But nowadays uh, we can observe that all these natural resources are converting, converted into, uh, into useless conditions. Or we can say, say that there is an amount of water, but 
it is not portable or it is useless so we can't survive if the natural resources turns into toxic one or useless one so this problem can be tackled by creating awareness at mass level so a general environmental awareness is very important to uh, to tackle by all these problems so environmental education is necessary there are some list of uh, subjects which are being studied uh, in various universities in india like ecology environmental science environmental genetics environmental biology environmental economics environmental management environmental engineering environmental geography environmental sociology environmental physics environmental laws forest management environmental psychology environmental chemistry wildlife biology ecosystem management all these are the branches related to the environment so uh, we can say that environmental education is now our need it is required to create general awareness among the people to motivate people to conserve the natural resources and to manage them and to promote the understanding cooperation among people to face the ecological issues it is also required to conserve the indigenous knowledge tradition and cultural friendly to the environment so it is the time to convert ourselves into uh, eco friendly one now it is the time to choose which way will we choose not sustainable way or sustainable way there are so many uh, kinds of biological diversity if we uh, choose sustainable day way so it is our time when we select non sustainable or sustainable so please think about it and select sustainable way so that our future generations can also enjoy the natural resources thank you so much